First to face the heat in the den is OK Essay, an award-winning innovator with some level of international recognition. Coming here is an opportunity of a lifetime because uh, we've been looking out for how we can get local VCs who can not only give us funding, also give us partnerships that help us to scale. And now, he is here to reel in the Lions, hoping they recognize the opportunity he brings before them. Hello, Lions. My name is Okese, founder and CEO of Power Stove Energy. I'm here to seek 40 million equity investment for a 2% stake of my company. Power Stove Energy came as an idea in 2017. Uh, the idea was to build a stove that has the ability to serve generate electricity to solve the energy problem bedeviling our community. However, we didn't start selling until after 12 months. So in 2018, we began selling um, our product to the first community we pivoted the model. And I'm proud to announce to you that today, we have 11 patents, 14 products that have generated a combination of 160 million since we started in 2018 in revenue and also have given us partnerships in US, Singapore, China, and Germany. Currently, this year we have an LOI to deliver 10,000 units through carbon credit finance. And this is what we are going to do in partnership with BMW, Apple, and Microsoft. I have the product here. Um, this product you have, have the ability to generate electricity when you are cooking or when you are not cooking. So what they just need to do is to turn up the, the knob and uh, they can charge their mobile phones. The next thing we have is wood pellets. These wood pellets, we are proud to say we are the only company in Nigeria that is doing commercial production of wood pellets. So we also produce other products that are um, targeted towards the poor and low income household in in Nigeria and also across Africa. Lions, we've come this far, but I need experience of people who have gone before us to be able to help us scale this, um, reach more communities, and also show um, Africans that a great product can come from Nigeria. Thank you. A powerful and energetic pitch from OKSA who is seeking a 40 million naira investment for a 2% stake to help scale his clean energy stove business. Nigeria's leading deal maker, Bolaji Balogun, wants to know more about the Power Stove's CEO. Welcome. Please tell me a bit more about yourself and what you did before you started Power Stove Energy. I read physics in school, so that gave me the opportunity to understand how I can use waste energy to convert into electricity. In physics, it's called seat back effect. So before then, I also have a consulting company called Pitchwater Consulting. So I, I built experience in fundraising. So that Pitchwater company um, gave me a revenue of uh, $5 million, which uh, I, I converted uh, between 15 to 20% as my own take from my client. What was your turnover in 2018? Our turnover in 2018 was 12 million. Okay. Um, 2019? 2019, we did uh, 45 million. Okay. Profit? Um, 8.5 million. And 2020? 2020, we did 103 million. 100, and, yeah. Profit? Um, 27 million. And what have you done with your profits? Um, we use our profit to plow back into the business. Okay. Um, last year, we, did, we set up a, a brand new factory in Abuja. Okay. And the same last year, we were able to expand to another factory. And what does the factory do? Uh, what the factory does is to produce wood pellets. Now, this wood pellet, we also use it to produce black wood pellets. And from there, we extract gas, wood gas. So we are now commercializing wood gas that is helping people to buy cooking gas at 50% the cost. I see. So that's what we are doing. An impressive use of his physics knowledge to create a business with eye-catching revenue has impressed the lions. But will Kamos Tycoon, Dan Ngerim's line of questioning, keep the positive energy going for OK SA. You said Apple, BMW, and yes, what Apple, other Yes, Apple, BMW, and Microsoft. Um, and Microsoft. Can you yes. tell me a bit more about that? OK, what, we, what, what I did was uh, I was able to convince these, uh, let me call them brokers, these carbon credit brokers in US and Singapore. And I told them that um, there are a lot of social issues in Africa we can use technology to solve. But what we need to do is that to give them a verifiable data that someone can be in 
Uzbekistan or in London to be able to determine that 5,000 units of stove deployed in Zamfara and Yobe State are in use. And that is why we brought IoT into the technology. So with the IoT technology, they can actually track it over a mobile app. So that became interesting to them. OKS's ability to identify opportunities that have attracted tech giants has further impressed the Lions. However, real estate mogul Paul Oanibe is skeptical about the entrepreneur's decision to come to the den. So amazing diversity. I think you have a real business here. Um, you're looking for 40 million naira, not 400 million naira. I mean, I would have thought you'd have just gone to a bank, kept your equity, and scaled this business. You're valuing the company at 2 billion naira. Right, so you're saying that this 40 million naira will scale this company to make that 2 billion naira look realistic. Hmm? That's basically the promise you're making here. Hmm? And that's the decision someone like me has to make, is that if I gave you 40 million naira, can you turn this into a 2 billion naira company within the next three years? And I don't think you can. I, I wouldn't be investing. I wish you the best of luck, unfortunately. Thanks. I am personally I'm out. I actually agree with um, Paul. You've been able to build this business and you've, you've had $1 million and now you're looking for 40 million naira. Um, where are the bank records of all the expenses, everything you've done so far? Why didn't you put that together and go to a bank like BOI? Who will give you the money at a single digit interest rate? Can I respond to that? Yes, please okay. go ahead. What we are looking for is not just money. Just money. So we are looking for people that will look at our business model and bring in the ideas as, OK, uh, don't do it this way. I think this is better. So that's part of okay, the so, more things we are looking for. So I, un I understand that, and I appreciate that. Unfortunately, I will not be able to invest in this. So I wish you all the best, and I'm out. All right, thank you, sir. In an instant, OKSA's fire dims as two lions go out in succession. Fellow physicist and serial investor Kiari Buka is, however, still curious about the potential in the wood pellets being manufactured. I want to ask one question about the pellets. Okay. What's your revenue on those? When wow. did when the when did the factory come live? Yeah. And how much have you how much we, we revenue have you generated from it? The pellet we're doing uh, twenty three thousand kg per month. That's what we are doing, and it, it gives us more revenue margin, I'm um, sorry, profit margin than any other of our products, because uh, the only cost associated with it is just the logistics and the uh, direct cost of labor in the factory. But to access those materials comes free. So um, that's why every other product we are building is linked to the pellet, because that's what gives our recurrent revenue. OK, I like what you are doing. Thank you, sir. What you have is valuable, but it is not, it has potential to become valuable. I'll make you an offer. I'll offer you half the money for 20%, which means the other half, if any lion would join in, then you have a deal. Finally, an offer in the den for our entrepreneur. Half the money he seeks for a 20% equity in his business. Bolaji Balogun would like to investigate further before making his decision. Who owns the company? Um, I founded the company with my wife. Then uh, in 2019, um, two investors joined. Last month, we have a Zimbabwean investor that is bringing $100,000 into the business. He wants me to expand to Zimbabwe because we're able to prove to him that the tobacco waste it's not really a waste, it's the money. It's, it's money. So you're shocked. I think that your, your real USP is the wood pellets. Exactly, sir. You know, I think the other stuff, actually a bit of a distraction. You are correct, sir. Yeah. Um, if you are prepared to, you know, sort of focus on that, I'll put in the other half, right? And on the same terms. The combo of two lions Bolaji Balogun and Kiari Buka, each dropping 20 million naira for a combined 40% stake in Power Stove Energy, is the offer for OKSA to consider. Will Commerce Titan Dan Ngerem 
fire back with an alternative offer. Mr. K. S. Sir. Um, I like your person. Thank you, sir. You know, I like the fact that you've also done a lot of homework. Thank you, sir. And um, I think um, if the other two lions will, would agree, I'd like to join them in this investment. You're welcome if you're going to join us on these terms. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Can I take a moment? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Dan Ngeren makes it a trio of lions coming together with a hot offer for OKSA. With the equity demand now 20 times more than OKSA's initial offer, he proceeds to properly assess the offer away from the heat of the den. A brief moment away and OKSA is ready with a decision. Thank you so much, Lions. I, I feel honored. It has always been my dream to have more than one Lions come on board. So thank you so much for the offer. Uh, meanwhile, I want to uh, make a suggestion. Um, the one you offered is uh, 40 to 40. So um, I want to make a suggestion that if I pay back this money within two years, with 30% interest. But what I want to offer is, we'll pay back your value based on dollar. Because the funds we're expecting is coming from carbon credit. So it's inflation proof. So if you can consider that, I uh, want to plead if you can come down to 12%. We like that proposition. We're only going to make one amendment to it. Um, we'd be happy to scale back from 40% to a combined 20% among the three of us. Why I ask this is that, like I mentioned, there are other investors on board. Look, so le let me not waste your time. I'll take you to places that you know, you've, you've never been to and walk you into places that on your own you'd never get to. If you really can you know, deliver this. I understand how to raise money. Um, and probably raise more money over the last 15 years than any individual in this country. You have a killer application here, but you know, make it worth our while as well. So can you come at 15? We're nickel and diamond each other. When this company you're building is worth $100 million, okay, right? Whether you own 50% of it, right, or you own 40% of it is irrelevant. You've done well. All right, sir. I accept the offer. Oh, congratulations. Intense negotiations, but a positive outcome for the KSC. Accepting three lines and 40 million naira for an initial 40% stake in his company, with an option to buy back 20% after repaying the initial investment at a 30% interest. He walks out of the den, a man ready to fuel the fires of power stove energy for the world to see. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Ecobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner.